Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are dyeing my hair again. I dyed my hair not too long ago. Uh, this like periwinkle color. The problem is is that I had not removed the purple fully and then I put this like bluey purpley periwinkle over top of like freshly bleached hair and a pink which turned the pink parts purple and it toned the bleached parts like silvery and it just did not turn out the way that I had anticipated it turning out and I was very unhappy with it for like a couple weeks and it wasn't washing out the way I had hoped it would wash out and then I sprayed some beyond the zone like temporary color spray in it which ended up my hair was so porous it ended up absorbing the temporary color and dyeing my roots like blue and my ends purple and it was just a whole big mess so I have removed the color with the baking soda peroxide DIY solution which I don't know I have like back and forth success with that. I've tried it once it did not work then I tried it this time and it removed a lot of the color the jury is still out I might do like a second chance review on it again when I'm trying to change my color again but in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Strawberry Leopard hair colors. Um, I got Prismatic Purple and Orchid You Not. So these are the colors that we're going to primarily be using. I am going to do a dark gray root of a Mystic Gray from the Creative Image Adore. I'm not mixing it with conditioner this time. Um, but the primary colors of this are going to be the Prismatic Purple and the Orchid You Not. Um, I got the Orchid You Not on a cashback offer through Influencer. Um, and we're going to be doing the Orchid You Not at the very ends and the Prismatic Purple for the majority of the hair. And then again, just a very slight root. This is the color story that I'm thinking we're going to try and do. I don't know if that's actually what's going to happen. Um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. The Prismatic Purple, I've read a lot of reviews, is not really purple. It's more on the blue side, like the blue periwinkle side. And it is lumped in like the shade lineup with their blue. So we will see. I've already sectioned my hair out into four quadrants and I'm just initially going to quickly do the gray root. So if you're more interested in the review of the Strawberry Leopard Prismatic Purple and Orchid You Not, please go to that bookmark. Um, but yeah, we're just going to prep it in a bowl and brush it on. I'm probably only also going to show you like the front sections of these hair dyeing or in my hair dyeing videos because it's hard to film the back of my hair and it's also hard to do the back of my hair and it's just easier to show you the front two sections but it's the same technique all around my head that I'm using. This also seems to be a very blue based gray so we'll see about that. Okay, gray root is done and I completed the back of my hair. I did things a little differently than I said in the intro. I ended up doing um, two splices prismatic purple, one splice orchid, can you not, two splice prismatic purple, one splice orchid, can you not. I'll show you um, in the front, uh, but here is like the review of the strawberry leopard hair dye and I'm going to read the directions and how to use it and things as I'm showing you how I'm putting it on. Um, it says lasts up to eight weeks infused with pro vitamin B5 and mango oil for hydration, shea butter for moisture, vegan protein and amino acids for strengthening, no ammonia, no peroxide, no ethyl alcohol, no PPD. Directions for the most vibrant results, hair should be pre-lightened to a light blonde before use. This ready to use formula can be directly applied to clean dry hair or by using a tint brush and bowl. 
Do not mix with the developer. Use gloves and apron to protect from staining. Section hair into four even sections and work color into one inch pieces to ensure the hair is fully saturated. Massage color into hair strands for even distribution. Leave in for 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. Rinse hair thoroughly in cool water. No need to condition hair afterwards. For long lasting results, maintain with color care products. It says that it also has a Neuroplex bonding technology to help repair and rejuvenate to condition hair. It's cruelty free, vegan, and gluten free. It smells amazing. One bottle of this is about $14 and change, like $14.90 something, so almost $15, and you get eight fluid ounces, which for my hair, it usually takes about eight fluid ounces to do a full head, and I have medium length, very, very dense hair, um, and it takes to color very, very well. So keep that in mind for your purchasing needs. So this is a very, very thick formula hair dye. Um, I am using a wide tooth comb to really get the product through my hair and massaging it in with my fingers. Um, to make sure that I don't blend the colors, I am wiping my hands off on a towel in between, changing back from the prismatic purple to the um, Orchid You Not. It is very conditioning and it is very easy to get through the hair so that's really really nice. Um, I have read some reviews on Sally that says unfortunately these some of these colors don't wash out very nicely upon like maintenance like a couple days later or two or three washes later so I'm a little weary about that. Time will tell in terms of that. Um, the prismatic purple definitely is not purple. It is blue. It's like a denim periwinkle blue. If you have any type of like yellow or orange in your hair, it's definitely going to tone. Um, it does seem to have a nice coverage. My hair is very porous right now, so I, so it is soaking up all kinds of color, and I'm going through a lot of these eight ounce bottles using two colors. Um, but yeah, right now it seems to be going very, very well. I think they have 18 shades to choose from, so definitely a bit of, quite a bit of variety to dye your hair whatever you would like. It looks like right now most of the shades they have are like blues and purples. But they have some blushes. Okay, so I'm done with the dyeing process. Um, my hair soaked up a lot of dye. It's so porous and damaged. <laughs> my poor hair. What I think we're going to have is some like Descendants Mal type hair. Um, I've personally never watched the whole Descendants movies, but my daughter is very into the aesthetic of the Descendants, so I think we're gonna have very much like Descendants Mal hair. Um, it says to let it sit at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm probably going to sit under my hood dryer from 15 to 20 minutes and then let it sit for another like 10. I've never known a hair color to not like heat in my opinion. I also want this like dark root to really like set in. Yeah, I'm also not going to put a shower cap on it only because I did like the every other strands. I didn't end up using any foil or anything to separate it because I don't mind if it like melts together a little bit or if they like touch. Um, but I don't want to like marry it all together in a shower cap. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this, sit under my hood dryer, then I'm going to go and wash it out. It says that you just have to rinse it, that you don't need to condition. I, I shampoo my color out, both shampoo and condition my color out. So I'll tell you how that all works. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. It smells so good. Ugh. All right, uh, I will be back showered, dried, and styled. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. What do we think? What do we think? We're serving up some gray, periwinkle, purpley vibes. I'm glad I mixed the purple in. I know I said in the intro I was gonna do like purple tips, but I'm really glad I mixed the purple in because I think it kind of helps to break a lot of things up. I thought my roots were gonna be a little bit darker. They aren't, <laughs> that's okay though. I think it looks fine no matter what. Um, also, I did notice like here, um, the pr pr prismatic purple, since it is more like a blue shade and it is more of like an already pastel shade, I had a lot of yellow in my hair and so it kind of like toned it, silvered it out. The prismatic purple also mixed with the mystic gray in the Creative Image Adore a lot. So you see like a lot more of the gray coming down the shaft of the hair um, on the prismatic purple strands rather than on the Orchid You Not. This Orchid You Not color is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. And again, it's such a bright color that I'm glad I just popped it through randomly because um, it really brightens it up. It's a little overwhelming, so I think if I would have switched them and did mostly Orchid You Not and then a little bit of the Prismatic Purple, I don't think you'd be able to see the Prismatic Purple, to be honest. Um, my hair feels very, very nice, very, very healthy. It feels very conditioned. I'm filming this much earlier than I hope to post it, so if I have any issues after I wash it a couple times or it fading really, really weird or funky, I'll try to add a picture or I'll let you know down in the description box below if I had any issues. I didn't have any issues shampooing this out. I know it said just to rinse with cool water, no need to condition. I did use a little bit of shampoo and I did use a little bit of conditioner in my hair because that's how I take my color out. I didn't have any issues and my hair still felt very, very nice and very, very lovely. Um, so yeah, overall I was really impressed with the Strawberry Leopard. It gets really kind of like back and forth reviews on Sally's, so I was really interested to see for myself. I used Prismatic Purple and Orchid You Not with a little bit of the Creative Images Adore Mystic Grey. I will link all of those products down in the description box below, so if you are interested in any of them, you can check them out on your own time. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this hair. I like it. It's not very, like, Christmassy, but it is, like, wintry. So I'll take it. I will live with it for a moment. I think it's worlds better than the periwinkle hair that I posted not too long ago. So I'll take this over that. Um... If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.